Hi guys, this is Patrick Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Missile to Pass, Case 51, Tip of the Scales. Let's well, all chapter the tree and two of our suspects are fighting, right? Good day, speak out to Quarkas, you need to go there straight away. A fight has broken out between two gentlemen. What? You're right, Kate. We better go and see what this is about. Let's see who is fighting. I know it was you, Lawson. You always had it in for my boy. Admit that you killed Archie or say goodbye to your teeth. Nonsense. I'm a man of justice. I like you and your family. Well, fine that Archie got murdered just when he started to work for you. Enough. Gentlemen, this is not the way to solve the matter. A senator and the deputy mayor fighting like common thugs? What's wrong with you? Why don't you do your job and arrest this man that is pretty clear before I smash his face in? Oh, come on, no, not yet. I'm not doing any arrests until, I, until I'm pretty sure who's, who is the killer. It's like, yeah, you're right. I shan't stick to the level of common criminals. I apologize for this disturbance, even though I didn't start it. Smug and cowardly as always, Lawson, but so be it. I apologize also, Spectia. Good. And next time, think about the example you set for Concordians. And now, Katia, we have to resume our investigation. Since we are here, let's have another look around the statue. Okay. Yeah, two gentlemen on a higher position in society are fighting like thugs. And I was right about who was going to fight. Justin and... Senator. Okay, let's investigate uh, our crime scene again. What do we have here? Torn paper. That looks like a check. I think. Graduation cap. Well, yeah, you graduated in Switzerland, so... And a locket. Oh, that looks like a lock. With a symbol. Over the, where are the chess pieces? Fuck it. There. That graduate guy has Archie's name on it. But what's it doing in a courthouse? Good idea, Katim. I can have the powder on the cap might explain it. Oh, sorry guys. We should piece that tall document back together too. Scribbling is in the courthouse are never unimportant. And I'm curious about a locket. We don't know if it's connected to Archie or Professor Q says it's always a real secret. Let's open it. Yeah, one of these clues could be the breakthrough we need. Well, yeah, it's locked, so it's supposed to open. But it's not supposed to hold the lock itself. Yeah, let's do it now. It's supposed to be just simple opening, like this. Why did you make this complicated for yourself, then? Whoever wore that locket. Oh, just in time, 8 energy. Okay. I'll avenge you. Oh. Katia, there's a young man's photograph in the locket. And the creature reads, I'll avenge you. Avenge? What could this be about? I agree, vengeance is an ominous notion no you kill white. This shall just punishment to Archie. At the bottom of the photo looks vaguely familiar. The image is too tattered for us to identify what evil will do it with a plump. Oh. Oh, I can't recognize him at all, so... Okay, you're gonna analyze it, since I can't do it myself. Now. Okay. Let's collect whatever that is from the graduation cap. Katrina, now that you've vacuumed that powder from Archie's graduate cap, the microscope might reveal what it is. Okay. Alright, now the torn document. I hereby 
Oh, t what is it supposed to say? It's a bad uh, handwriting. But Justin lost the signatures on it. Load, please. Got this an official letter signed by Deputy Mayor Lawson. It's authorizing a hundred shillings pay raise for the basic Archie Rochester. Since when is Mr. Lawson so fond of Archie that he'd raise his salary and call him a basic? Bro, talk to him. Well, yeah, you didn't like when he came uh, to you. Justin, what's going on? Please don't be corrupted. I don't want you to get corrupted. No. Where is it? There. You had a fire animal tranquilizer. What? The fire of active up from Archie's graduate camp was animal tranquilizer. According to the results, the tranquilizer is used by hunters who want to subdue but not kill their prey. Oh, you know someone who likes to hunt. Sure thing, got the assassin drink, but sure he was an avid hunter. He never invited Archie along, said he wasn't interested. Which is that Father Archie's cap could only have come from Samson Drake. I'm still not sure what Mr. Drake was doing with Archie's cap, Katria, but you're right, it's best if we ask him. Yeah, we need to ask him. Okay, first let's go talk to Justin. Please don't tell me you got corrupted. Wow. Mr. Lawson, why did you authorize a pay raise for Archie in such glowing terms? You even called him a basing. I didn't authorize anything, I thought I ripped that letter to shreds. Archie wrote that letter himself and forged my signature on it. He didn't even need a pay raise, so I rushed he was richer than me. But I'm proud wanted to rile me up, to trample on the law, my authority, and common decency. But I wasn't going to. Mr. Lawson, Archie's behavior was most impertinent, but there's no need to lose your temper. I apologize, but I could, yeah, I just had a way to push my buttons. I admit I overreacted. I need another vacation in Switzerland, but I can't have stayed for work during these turbulent times. Mr. Lost, I hope Archie's insolence didn't provoke an outburst you'd regret. We wouldn't want to re see your political career cut short by a murder conviction. Oh, no, 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 I don't want uh, I don't want him to be the killer, no, no, no. No. Okay, let's go talk to Drake again. Mr. Drake, found Archie's graduate cap, and given you told us you weren't close, you wonder under what circumstances you... Oh, I swear, Katia, it was an incident I'm loath to remember. But if you insist, Archie enjoys sniffing out people's weaknesses as he discovered mine. I never obtained my college degree. But you're an educational lobbyist. Exactly, Archie humiliated me in front of his father. He said an educational lobbyist without his degree was like a hunter without his rifle. Archie handed me his own graduate cast, and it was my only chance to wear one. And I had to swallow my pride in front of the center and pretend to laugh at Archie's joke. It's very cutting. I may not have a degree, but I'm still a gentleman. I ski in the Swiss Alps like all the rich, and I'm fitter than most. Archie did have a sadistic streak, Mr. Drake, but I hope you didn't respond to his distasteful prank by violence. I reject your accusations, Mr. Yeah, Just because I don't have a degree doesn't mean I'm a lawless brute. Okay, now we are getting to the side where everyone hated Archie for who he is. That's just how we know him. Let's check out who's the guy in the locket. Katia, yeah, finding this locket at the court was a true detective instinct. Here comes a secret that throws new light on Archie's murder. What do you mean, Evie? Is the young man in the photograph someone we know? Yes, the photograph depicts a man called Elmer Wentworth. Oh, that's his, uh... Valet. Yeah, I remember him. He was the one who killed to protect, uh... Archie, when he was Mr. Alistair, he even committed suicide to hide the truth. Who spent many years in Rochester's service as Archie's valet. What for? That's why he looked familiar. He was Archie's valet who committed murder at the last of Mr. Alistair's parties. Went for committed suicide at his arrest to protect Archie's secret that he was Mr. Alistair. I said that someone wanted to avenge Wentworth's death, but who? According to the archives, Wentworth had a sister called Sarah. You know her by her married name, Sarah Brown. She's a clean lady at the courthouse. 
Sweet mother of pearls, so the locket belongs to Sarah Brown. And judging from her old adventure, she never got over her brother's death. Why she blamed Archie and exacted her revenge on him? You're right, Kate. He wants to interrogate Sarah Brown again. Or maybe she just wanted revenge on, on us. Where we wanted to arrest him and then he committed suicide. All right. But anyway, let's go talk to Sarah again. Mrs. Brown, you ever told us the full truth. We know you wanted to avenge the death of your brother who died protecting Archie. So you discovered my secret, Inspector Tia. Aye, so what of it? Archie Rochester was, Rochester was the reason my brother committed murder and suicide. And because of the scandal, I lost my job as the governess of a wealthy Swiss family. I had to move back to Coquitia to scrub floors for a living. I lost my brother and my job, but Archie Rochester walked away from his crimes without punishment. And I had to see his smug face whenever he came to the courthouse. So you resolved that they just did your own hands and kill Archie? Why ever not, this better yeah, these odds are plenty strong enough to kill, and the coffee I drink every day keeps my mind sharp. But some of us have despised Master Archie worse than I did. I told you, he was dead on their skills when I found him. That remains to be proven, Mrs. Brown. But if you kill Archie, you just punishment that awaits you too. Oh, she's number one suspect. Well, she was the one who had found the body, so... Good day, it must be close to a breakthrough. What's your view of what we know of Archie Rochester's murder? We discovered at the courthouse, clearly Lady was the sister of Archie's old valet, and she swore revenge on Archie for Wentworth's death. But she wasn't the only one who held a grudge against Archie. He also humiliated Samson Dre for not having a degree. And played a prank with Deputy Mayor Lawson by forging his signature to give himself a pay raise. Archie's old sins are still making ripples while he continued to make new enemies, but which one suspect snapped and killed him? Good idea, Katia. Return to the place where he was killed is bound to crack his case. That's right. Let's investigate uh, outside the warehouse again. Maybe for one last time, where Archie was killed. I actually can't wait to see who's going to be the killer here. And I can't wait to see what the other cases in Ivory Hill are going to be about. And I do want to know what... What was the real motive for killing Archie? And who's going to be? Look at that, it's a bottle of chloroform. Well, yeah, that's what... With which he was knocked down. We don't kill you with chloroform to render Archie unconscious. They must have discarded this bottle here where Archie was murdered. We'd better collect the sample of those favors on the neck. And you're right, we should search that crate too. I don't even care about the liquid, I just want to catch Archie's killer at last. You don't care about alcohol. That's an improvement of you. For you, Maddie. Okay, let's search the crate of alcohol. Well, yeah, we still haven't found a murder weapon. That's gotta be. Where the murder weapon is. Let's search, let's search. I see you, you are shining, and that's it. Handsaw, the murder weapon. Can you find a bloody saw here among the bottles? I bet it's our murder weapon. You're right, you all will know for sure. Let's send it saw to her past haste. It's the murder weapon. He was sawed up. Nine hours. Okay, now the chloroform bottle. Oh, from clothes treads. Oh, so close. Okay, let's set his fingers on the killer's core from Ball to Viola and see what she finds. Okay, let's check out first the hand saw. And is it the murder weapon? Because there's blood on this hand sock of road that is definitely what the cure used to cut Archie in half. So this saw is a murder weapon. What else can you tell us about it, Viola? While I put it in, you see Archie's blood type was A+, but some of the blood on the blade was of a different blood group. Oh, you caught yourself. The other blood type was B-, and it must have come from your kill. For the saw of this job, no wonder they cut themselves. So, our killer's blood type is B-, I'll be sure to feel the blood drain from their face when Katrina arrests them. That's right. Who could it be? 
Okay, now the papers. Vyalak, they have found the servers of the Kyo's Quarrel from Bottle. Please tell us you glean something from them. Yes, Katia, I got you a rather dapper clue. I've examined the strands under the sensitive microscope and they are a special kind of satin. Further research revealed that this type of satin is used mainly for neckties. You can wear the tie, Katia. Arcturo might be fashionable, Katia, but they'll soon swap their satin tie for a prison uniform. We are closing in on them. That's right. Katia, Arcturo has to die a brutal death no one deserves. But now you gather all the evidence to arrest his killer. That's right. And I can't wait to see who killed him. Who was it? She doesn't have a tie. He wasn't uh, into Switzerland. It's not even a Heidi. Zero my Wait, zero minus. Oh, thank God, it's not Justin. And I don't want him to turn out to be the killer. But that, you were close, Justin. Okay, I knew this guy was suspicious at the first time I met him. Why did you kill Archie? Well, we didn't like him, but he didn't, he didn't deserve to die. Why did you kill him? Sasa Drake, you under arrest for Archie Rochester's murder. I admit your smooth manners fooled me, but you didn't fool Inspector Tria. I'm dead to this mistake, I didn't kill Archie Rochester, Inspector Tria. It just shows you filled one of Archie's ass by hills with strong Swiss chloroform and made him breathe it in. You have a wild imagination, Spectia. Fuck you. Imagination doesn't come into it. Only a strong man like you could have sought Archie in half. And you brag about being in excellent shape. That doesn't mean I'm a raging lunatic who cut a man in two. Stop denying it, Drake. We found your head up with Archie's blood on it. And your own. But why did you arrange the body in that grotesque display and leave that message about just punishment? Do I need to spell it out for you? I killed Archie to send a message to his father. Ooh, why is that? You committed this murder as a message to Senator Rochester? What sort of message? The Senator had to see that he couldn't fool me any longer with his lofty plans for a new republic. You know about the Rochester's plans to create a new republic? Not only do I know, I was the plan's biggest supporter. Senator Rochester promised that I'd become his education minister. The senator needed my connections as a lobbyist, but it turned out that these promises are all lies. He never planned to include me in his government. There would be no education minister in the Republic at all, because there won't be any schools except for the rich. The senator believes ignorant masses are easier to govern. Oh, Jesus, no. That was what I realized when I agreed to. I was supporting a Rochester takeover for what? What had I become in my ambition? So you heard the voice of your queen says and decided to kill Archie as a result? I knew the only way to hurt the senator was to take what was most precious to him. His son and heir. It's very clear I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to show the senator that his just punishment would befall him. So I let Archie on the scales as a message for him. Sansa Drake, you should have known that murder isn't the way to oppose political machinations. You're under arrest. Ooh, that's not gonna go well now that they are planning their republic. No schools. No. Sansa Drake, you said accused of murdering Archie Rochester by cutting him in half. And then you deface the symbol of justice by putting the body on her scales. Personally, I find that a bit excessive. How do you plead? Guilty, your honor. But I was acting for the greater good. Rochester's must be stopped before they make the republic a reality. That is all very troubling indeed, but the courtroom is not your political soapbox, Mr. Drake. You are hereby sentenced to life in jail. Well, yeah, you cut him in a half, so that's really... We need a stronger sentence for that. Mark my words, you honor. If the Rochester get their way, they'll enslave all of us for much longer than my lifetime. Ooh. Katria, Archie's murder turned out to be more than punishment for Archie's own faults. It was a political act against his father. I fear there are some tumultuous times ahead, as Rochester's plan to form a new republic under their own rule is at the heart of everything. Sasa Drake indicated that there are people outside the Rochester family who support their plans. You're right, Katria, our next step should be finding out who else the Rochesters have conscripted into their sheaves. Oh no, that's not gonna go well. Yeah, some people are supporting their plans. We don't want that to happen. No. Alright. We gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing. No news is good news. Number three. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.